so this is Kate. If you guys remember her, her and I traveled together in Hawaii and Maddie. Hi. And then you guys know Megan, obviously. I'm gonna leave all their stuff linked oh down below. God. We're currently headed right now to our next villa, so I will catch up with you guys then. We just drove into Seminyak and are staying at Villa Mimi, and this is literally like the nicest villa ever. This thing looks like a resort. No, it's actually our own private villa. So you walk in here, this is like the living area. And it has like a TV, got some couches, kitchen, and then we have our fun little friend over here. Have a pool. This pool is actually so picturesque. I'm very excited to get photos in here. And then this is the first room. So there's like three bedrooms basically. This one has like a nice little living area. The bathrooms also are so cute in this place. I'm dying. Look at this. Definitely gonna get a photo there. Then you walk in, got another room here. Guys, also fun fact. Well, I mean, I guess you saw this in the start of this video. This is the shirt that I tied along with the jean shorts. These guys right here are from Urban Outfitters. Very excited to be here. So we are here for two nights. We made it to the cutest little cafe ever, and the roof has plants all over it. So fun! Ooh, we're getting the photos. There's like four cameras. There's vlog camera. I like down this. I couldn't wait. So I'm just sitting with Maddie right now. She's currently getting her two acrylic nails fixed and then some new shellac color put on. I often get questions a lot about like how much nails cost and how to maintain nails while traveling. So there is lots of like little places you can go into and get your nails done. I mean, I have acrylic on my nails right now. Um, and yeah, for her to get two nails fixed and then a new shellac color put on is like 200 IDR, which is like 14 US dollars, which I mean like, maybe overpaying it a little bit, but like when you have to get it done, you have to get it done. I mean, you can walk along and find like different places that might be cheaper, but you also don't necessarily want to go to the cheapest place is the only thing. So it's like, I don't know. So we're, you don't want to risk it and get a like, really cheap one. I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like it's like you can go to hole in the walls, but you might end up with like a hole in your nail. So, you know. <laughs> okay guys, so it is a bit later now. I ended up having a nap because I was quite jet lagged. Um, we were just getting ready in our villa. We are headed right now um, to Old Man's, which is a really fun bar in Chengdu because it is Friday night. So I thought I would show you guys my outfit. You don't need to dress up in Bali. Even like the clubs, like you honestly can wear jean shorts. And so I just have this little bodysuit on. This guy right here is from, I want to say like Windsor, like Princess Polly. Um, and then these jean shorts I just got in the Melrose Trading Post. They're actually like vintage. Levi shorts. Anyways, this is the look of the night. I'm not gonna bring my camera because I don't want to lose it. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So it is the next day. Um, last night we ended up getting home like around like 3.30 ish. Um, and we just like went to the beach bar once it turned into basically like old man's um, around like one o'clock. Turns like off the music for a bit and then everyone goes to the beach and there's like lots of fun music and dancing. And I actually ran into uh, two friends from Vancouver, Brom and Charlotte. Um, so we just hung out with them for a bit and that was like a lot of fun. But anyways, Megan and I are up. It's like 9.30 right now and well, I just threw on this little outfit. This is actually that little scarf thing I bought that I was showing you guys when I was packing in the last vlog. So we are back at Nalu Bowls, but the prices are pretty good. You can get some breakfast options. They also have, I got the eggs benedict. So that's like six dollars US. And then they also have some like lunch options and coffee as well. It is so warm. Anyways, this nice gentleman, we were, he was getting water from his family and we thought he worked here. We're like, oh, can we get some water? And he's like, oh, I don't work here, but like, I can get you water. Anyways, he went and got us water from his tray here. <laughs> so I just got an eggs, Benedict, because your girl's hungry. So we got some cute stuff for photos. I mean, we're all gonna eat it, but we got these, um, we have these lattes here that like give you a heart shape and everything's just like really aesthetically pleasing. We got our food. We got a poke ball. We're gonna try and set up a shot. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try our best.
tea so we have been back from lunch now for a few hours i've just been trying to tan a little bit but i'm gonna go do a little pool workout right now honestly this is a really good thing to do if you're traveling because obviously if you guys have traveled southeast asia you know there's like 100 percent humidity and it is really hard to work out because it's just so hot and so if you jump in the pool you'll manage to stay cool and also get a good workout in and just feel really nice so that's what we're gonna go do i'm gonna show you guys in kind of like a sped up version with a little voiceover what i do to work out um in a pool it's quick easy keeps it cool gets you jacked okay so for my workout i usually start by some sort of cardio and since we are in a pool i'm just going to be doing laps back and forth so usually i'll switch between doing breaststroke and front stroke <laughs> so many strokes so i'll do just a bunch of laps in the pool until i'm pretty pooped and the first thing that i do there was actually a little ledge in the pool and so i just started doing these things where i just went up on one leg and then put my knee towards the sky i just did about 20 on each leg the next thing i'm doing is these squats that look like this and i am standing once again in the shallow part of the pool so then my body goes under the water and keeps me kind of cool and i usually do about 20 on each leg and then i do these fun little push-ups on the side of the pool to get my arms nice and toned and moving on to the butt we're doing these back leg lift things this also you'll feel it in your abs and your shoulders as well because you are kind of leaning on an angle and then getting our butt even bigger even like i'm still working on that you know <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of these to get it big but anyways <laughs> i really like this because it just tones up your bottom area and also the back of your legs and then this one right here is really great for toning your inner thighs and i'll usually do about 20 on each side and i will do three sets of these and your legs will be burning by the end but they will look nice and slim um so then once again i'm just kind of doing a different variation of the other one before with having my leg go all the way back and you can take breaks to throw some water on yourself when you get too hot so this one here i'm just doing some ab workouts where i'm doing some pulsing and some bicycle type moves and then this one right here too where i touch my my, um, feet to my hands and it is quite difficult and then usually I'll try and do about a one minute plank in between each one of these but just get the abs really burning and then I'll also do a side plank as well on each side to get my obliques engaged and I'll hold that for about a minute so this move right here is really great for working your whole little ab section and so I kind of use my arms as a weight so I'll bring it all the way back and then I carefully touch my toes and it, you're really balancing on this because you're trying to not fall off the edge as well so this one is really great and then the next move I'm doing is this one right here which I actually used to do when I danced quite a bit and this is really great for engaging your whole entire core and as you see I'm also getting tanned at the same time so that is wonderful the next one here is where I am balancing my whole body on my arms and I'm trying to straighten my legs this one is quite difficult and you'll definitely feel it in your arms so this move right here I'm just doing standing you can also do it in the pool as well and use the water as some resistance I also fun fact do this while I am brushing my teeth this move right here is really great because you can basically do it on any single ledge um, and it gets your arms really toned. And I'll usually try and do about 60 of these. Okay, you want to come and do it? Um, we have a land joiner. You just put your arms like this and you need to use the harder way so you can make sure you put your legs straight. You do like this and then just go all the way down to a 90 degree angle. And it burns. Pretty good, hey? Okay? All right, so a move that is really great for your butt is you can also do this on the ground, but I decided to do this on the pool and you just lift your pelvis all the way up to the sky. So you're kind of a complete straight tabletop. And also too, if you tap your knees together, you will feel it in your inner thighs. I wasn't sure about including this on YouTube, but I mean, it's a great butt workout. So I thought I would show you guys. <laughs> All right, so the last leg move I do is this one right here where I just do a wall sit and this one friggin' burns. You will be dying by the end. And then last up, this is just an ab routine that I try and do every single time I work out. It's actually one I used to do when I danced um, and it's just kind of a combination of working your lower abs and your upper abs and your side abs and all the abs. Workout, done. Kate, join me in the end of that. I'm gonna get some water. I think we're gonna get actual ready, put on some sort of face makeup so we can take some Instagram photos. Okay, so I'm gonna just shower and get ready and then I'm actually going to shoot in some of these bikinis. Toby 
sent me these we had a bit of a glow up um just currently got ready i actually have product in my hair right now and it's keeping this like nice like wet hair look um i have this like stuff i got um it's like olplex like take home treatment that i got when i got my hair extensions put in so that's like on my real hair and then i have actually like a shitload of leave-in conditioner on my normal hair so i'm actually gonna rinse this out but it worked to like give that cool wet hair look because my hair i mean it should be dry by now but it's still kind of wet looking so for photos a little trick a bunch of leave-in conditioner anyways we are just going to shoot this bikini and take a few photos around the villa because this is our last night in this villa and we'll be going somewhere tomorrow so we want to get all the shots that we need <laughs> So we did a little bit of change. Also, if you guys haven't checked out um, Kate and Maddie, Maddie's a YouTuber and Instagrammer. Kate is a really posh Instagrammer, her feed. I love it. So you guys should definitely check it out. I'm gonna leave their Instagram link down below. And of course, you guys know Megan. Check her out too. Also, if you haven't subscribed to her vlog channel, go do it because she's also vlogging. We're gonna take some more photos. I'm gonna give you guys a little insight into how I get my Instagram photos. Um, maybe just like sitting on the edge. It's gonna be interesting. I don't wanna move too much. Being an Instagrammer isn't easy. I think my boobs out. Oh, come on, buddy, go over here. You need a paddle. <laughs> you need a full-time swan wrangler. We're docking. We're docking her. <laughs> Guys, like I said, being an Instagrammer, not easy. <laughs> not as easy as it looks, folks. I am sweating, I had some highlight. Okay, so we have shot two Instagram photos now. It honestly doesn't take that much time to get Instagram content. You just need to change a bunch of outfits. And I might do a whole nother video on how to pose for Instagram photos. If you guys want that, leave a comment down below. I did do that video like, two years ago and you guys seem to like it because obviously I pose a lot in a bikini I have some tricks um, and yeah I'm lost my phone alrighty so we are done taking photos now I just washed all of the stuff out of my hair and just rebraided it I'm gonna be interested to see what this looks like in the morning I'm hoping that it like looks decent because always having heat on extensions is not like super ideal and I'm trying to not damage my hair any further. But I thought I would show you guys my outfit. We're going back for dinner to the same cafe we've gone like every single day. I love it there. They have it's these cauliflower shelter. fries that are so good. It's called shelter, we realize. It's actually on top of Nalu bowls, Nalu bowls, but they will serve the acai bowls and stuff to the restaurant. It's amazing. Closed. What, what time did it close? Do? Well, we can just walk on that road. Wait. Um, but I thought I would show you guys my outfit for dinner So I just have this crop top on and this skirt. Okay guys, I'm giving you a little sneak preview So I told you guys I was doing a clothing line. This is actually the sample skirt that I got made up So as you can see, I'm not sure what fabric I'm gonna get yet Because obviously I have to still buy fabric and get the stuff manufactured But this is the sample so it's like a wrap skirt and then if you peep I'll show you guys this. You can see it's like a different pattern on the other side. So that's kind of the idea of it. I'm gonna be doing a long pattern or a long style and a short style. But yeah, that's kind of also why I'm in Bali is to figure out all the manufacturing and that kind of stuff. We have stumbled <laughs> upon a very cute little restaurant called Z Zabiru, I think. <laughs> I don't really know, but anyways, it's on like the main street. It was pretty close to where we we're staying And so we're just gonna get some nice Italian food The king flush juice Okay, how are you? It's great <laughs> 